Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing a 2022 Ram 1500 Backcountry. We're going to figure out if this truck is worth going for. First and foremost, so a huge shout out and thank you to the Larry Trailer Dodge Ram here in Sandy, Utah, for giving me some time with this Backcountry. I'm going to include a link to their inventory in the description down below. Definitely check them out. And as always, my car buying guide is going to be in the description down below as well if you're going to save time and money the next time you purchase a car. Let's get into the video. So first off, under the hood, we have a good old fashioned 5.7 liter Hemi V8 that goes through an eight speed automatic transmission. It's good for 395 horsepower, 410 pound feet of torque. And well, there you go. Let's go over the front end of the backcountry. First off, I love this particular paint color. Now, you guys can see here, we've got the 1500 Hemi 5.7 liter badge on the side. And then this is built off of a big horn. So you've got the halogen bulbs as standard. You guys can see how it's kind of like darker to give it a sportier appearance. Notice how the front grille is body painted. Ram logo has been darkened to kind of make it look sportier. And then you can see here with the bumper, it's actually black to contrast the rest of the truck. You've got the tow hooks here on the bottom them, and then fog lights as well as of the parking sensors. And then you guys can see underneath we do have some skid plate protection, also part of the backcountry package because this is supposed to be like an off-road package. And there's the front end. Now coming around the side here, I've got two 75 millimeter tires wrapped around 18 inch wheels in the front and over in the rear as well. Notice how the wheel is all blacked out. Now these are the Falcon Wild Peak All-Terrain tires, part of the backcountry package, so that it is a little bit more capable from an off-road perspective. And then you guys can see here, we've got independent front suspension, just like other Ram 1500 models. And you guys already saw the badge there, it was blacked out. The Ram logo down below is also blacked out. Now this truck is fully two-toned, so you guys can see the black bumper kind of continues here along the side, right? Because this portion has been painted black. And then you got the fixed side steps. The mirrors are blacked out. And then the trim around the windows is also black. And this one is a crew cab, which is the first time I've been able to, well, see a crew cab at back country. So definitely like the proportions on it. And then we have our four by four off-road decal here on the side. And then just like other Ram 1500s, this has the multi-link setup here in the rear. It's kind of hard to see. And then this one also has the wheel house liners. Here's our key fob for the back country. We've got our unlock lock function and then remote start. You got the Ram logo there on the back. Now, if we drop this down, First off, we're gonna go over the payload, 1,450 pounds, and we'll get into the towing a little bit later. But notice here, we've got the liner on this truck. And then you guys can see here with the LED lights, and then you've got the rails at the top. This one also has a tonneau cover from the factory. It's a soft fold. And then you can see there with the cargo light at the top. And then lifting this up, the tailgate's actually very light and easy to get into place. Actually, I didn't shut it all the way. There we go, now it's shut. Now, finishing things up with the rest of the rear, you guys can see here with the taillights, you got the regular big horn taillights, and in fact, also get a big horn badge here on the back. And then notice the rest of the logos have been darkened, and the exhaust tips have also been darkened, so they kind of have a cool sporty look. This one has the bumper step, so basically, you can just kick this out, so that helps you access the bed, and then you can kick it back in, that's why it's a kick step. Now, this truck has a 3.92 axle ratio, so towing capacity is going to be over 10,000 pounds, and there you go. Now, here's the door panel in the rear of the back country, and you guys can see that it's a big horn door panel, so you can see the trim there at the top, the cloth trim, and then the padding down below. But we have seats out of the Ram Rebel. Uh, this is similar to like what they did with the Built to Serve Edition. So you've got these vinyl seats with a cloth inserts. They're very comfortable. And this being a crew cab has tons of storage space. And then you can see here with the cup holders and then the darker trim there at the top. We do have some USBs here in the back, full power outlet, and then rubber floor mats. And then just like other Ram crew cabs, we've got the ice buckets here in the back. Definitely prefer the crew cab to that quad cab backcountry I first reviewed. But anyways, that's all for the rear also. Side steps help out with getting in. Now here's the door panel for the back country. You guys can see again with the trim at the top, the cloth trim down below, and then with the padding. And then this one has these standard mirrors. They actually do power fold in, which is pretty cool. Hello, Ben. And wait for it, there you go. Automatic windows here for the front too. And then you've got these seats here in the front. Again, straight out of the Rebel. Definitely, again, like I said, love these seats. And then 
You can see with the adjustments there on the side and then the lumbar support. Pedal layout down below. And then you've got your pedal adjustment here, parking brake, light controls here with the fog light and the cargo light. Steering wheel is manually adjustable. Let's pop in. So here is the steering wheel for the back country. You can see nice padding all around and then the darker stitching there on the center. We do have our gear limiter right there. Cruise control here on the side with radio controls there on the back. Voice command phone controls, controls for the center stack. Turn signal windshield wiper stock and there you go. Now this has Ram's upgraded gauge cluster so you guys can see you've got the analog gauges on either side and then this nice big chunky screen there in the center is what we'll call it. Um, but basically you can scroll through different bits of vehicle information including the off-road status which is important because again the backcountry is an off-road ready vehicle. And then notice here with like you can see the fuel economy and everything. Again this truck is brand new hasn't been broken in so fuel economy is not accurate but there you go. Now before we get in the infotainment system more dark trim here with another little 12 volt right there. And then you've got the regular bighorn dash. Now this has the 8.4 inch infotainment system. So first off we pop in reverse. Got the backup camera with two trajectory lines. You can zoom in there if you want. Now as for the rest of the infotainment system, first off response time is great. You've got this shortcut bar here at the bottom. As you can see, we do have dual zone climate, heated seats, heated steering wheel as wheel. Ha, ha, ha. Got the off-road pages, cause again, this is an off-road vehicle, but notice you can go to the all and you can see everything here from this little section and that's the infotainment screen. We've got analog controls down below for the radio and then analog controls for the heated seats, heated steering wheel, our dual zone climbing controls. We've got this for the parking sensors, tow haul mode, and then the stability control as well. And then here is the shifter for the eight speed automatic transmission. It's the dial shifter, just like other Ram models. We have our two wheel drive, four wheel auto, four wheel high, four wheel low, true neutral. Hill descent control, and then this also does have an axle lock. So basically what that's going to do is it's gonna make it so that you have even power being sent to both wheels in the back. So if one of your tires is stuck and spinning in mud, it's gonna you know help kind of divert the power to the tire that's getting grip. So just a nice bit of off-road tech to have. And then here's the center console setup. Got the measuring charts there in the back. And then notice slides backwards and forwards. And then you can see here with the little storage space, got all of the USBs. And then we've got our phone holder right here with the power outlet down below. And then notice it actually says backcountry there. That's the only backcountry badge on the truck. Have our dual glove box situation. And then this truck's loaded up. Holy crap. Panoramic sunroof here at the top. Got the power sliding window for the rear. Got the rest of the controls here for the sunroof. And then this one just has the standard mirror and all black headliner. Of course, using universal garage door openers. Well, let's get into pricing here for the backcountry, which uh, the backcountry is quite a bit more expensive than uh, what I originally thought it would be. So you can see the base price here for this crew cab, $47,915. Again, this is a crew cab four by four. Again, we kind of thought when this originally was gonna come out, it's gonna be like a $40,000 truck. This is almost a $50,000 truck before any options are added. And again, if you guys are wondering this color, it's called Patriot Blue. Very, very beautiful. Definitely a really good choice. Now, I notice they don't show a lot with standard equipment, but basically notice like 321 axle ratio is standard, for example. Whereas like the Ram Rebel, which is another offered package from Ram, has a 392 as standard. Now, anyways, this is the Bighorn Package 25Z is what they are calling this uh, backcountry package, basically. So you can see it says backcountry package down below that. Kind of confusing stuff how they label everything, but that's just how they label it. $26.95 in terms of the package. So actually, sorry, that's the base price for a Bighorn now, not even a backcountry. So the base price for a backcountry is over $50,000. Wow, that's news to me. Um, it does come with quite a bit. So I think the backcountry package itself is a solid value. I guess it's just the base price of the Bighorn is just increased by such a massive amount. But yeah, look at all the stuff it comes with, including like the bed liner and the painted bumpers. And you guys can see trifold tonneau cover, like pretty much everything this truck has comes with the backcountry. Like it's, it's, a, it's, it's a really solid value. Now you've got the Bighorn level two equipment group that adds a couple more things like the bigger touchscreen. Google, or sorry, Android Auto rather, and then um, Apple CarPlay as well. Notice this truck has the 3.92 axle ratio, which I recommend adding to Ram trucks. Makes it drive a whole lot better. And then you got the wheelhouse liners and, oh, I guess you have to pay even more for the navigation. And they nickel and dime you with this infotainment system stuff. They definitely nickel and dime you. Anyways, notice it says, we've got a value savings of 2,300 bucks because we paid 2,700 bucks. Logic. 
$60,680 is the total MSRP. And then you guys can see with the warranty information, five years, 60,000 on the powertrain and then three or 36,000 on the basic. And I guess that's, um, well, we will put this away in the glove box and I will give you guys my quick summarizing thoughts here in the back country. So first off, I love the spec on this. Like I said, I think this is a great looking truck. I love the concept, but man, oh man, has inflation gotten crazy. Um, I had a Ram Rebel 2019 that basically is the same exact equipment as this truck and it's stickered for $59,000. And so like now in 2022, Sixty thousand dollars buys you what bought you in 2019 a Ram Rebel, basically. I know I'm struggling to talk today. It's just a it's hot outside today. But anyways, the point that I'm trying to make is I love this package, but it's definitely not the affordable off-roader that we thought it would be, especially when you spec it out nicely, like how this truck is specced out. This basically, again, if you bought a 2019 Rebel, then this is this is what you'd be able to buy now in 2022 is a backcountry for the same amount of money. Let me know what you guys think on that. That's gonna sum things up for our video on this backcountry. Again, a huge shout out and thank you to the Larry Miller Dodge Ram Jeep Chrysler here in Sandy, Utah for giving me some time with the truck. Check out the inventory in the description down below. I will see all of you in the next video.